Today we are opening an $8,000 Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we're opening an $8,000 Yu-Gi-Oh collection that I purchased, but first we have a gift. I'll be giving away this first edition Metal Raiders Catapult Turtle. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card from the collection. I'm assuming there's a lot, I don't even know everything in here, but I'm excited. First we have some commons in the classic 2003 kaiba 10 which is pretty cool so this looks like a bunch of commons so nothing we're gonna like go through or anything then we have more commons in the summon skull 10 cool then we have a good old ebay authenticity guarantee if you don't know what this is check out my rux and live channel i made a video about how bad this thing is but their ebay is doing this authenticity guarantee thing it's garbage but let's see what he put in here so we got a uh, levy of dragon daedalus bls cool chaos and bird dragon chaos and bird dragon limit removal and buster blader those are some good reprints right there very solid stuff and then of course the flame wing man this is probably the ude print i guess yeah definitely silver stamp okay so this one not very valuable compared to the real one you know the gold stamp is much more valuable than this one because this was you know counterfeit i also have a video about this so go check that video out as well if you have not seen it more bulk in here okay that's going to be interesting uh more bulk we have an unlimited star deck joey sealed very nice to see so for a lot of this stuff will be for sale so i bought this collection from the guy and uh i've bought a lot of collection recently a lot of you guys have been trying to sell your collection probably Probably due to like everything going on with like the economy and everything like that we've committed to a lot of collections and if you guys are interested in anything you see make sure to hit me up it might be on instagram might be on tcg player stuff like that if there's anything that i need for my specific decks obviously i'm going to keep those but you can ask and if i say that no big deal i'm not going to be offended if you ask all this stuff is top loaded which is really cool so we have a master collection one also dark necrofear so it looks like the master collection set i probably split this up right in the middle of the six um there's a dark necrofear for legendary collection three that's yugi's world promos we have the uh what is this u ue the ultimate edition or whatever it's called Real, there's the master collection and then the exodia that's five of the six so we're missing one black horn of heaven i don't know why this got a top loader <laughs> rope of life buster blader yeah some of the stuff i'm confused on why these are in top loaders because they're only a couple bucks but he, i guess he liked them so very cool we got the uh siriaryu very cool dds promo i love this card very nice looking the pink just looks nice it's the less desired of the dds because you want exodia blue eyes and dark magician obviously but this one i think is really cool as well then we have green baboon we have obelisk the tormentor blue eyes white dragon blue eyes spirit Spirit Dragon, Ghost Rare, Red Dragon, Arch Fiend. There we go. That's our biggest card so far. And then we've got the Winged Dragon of Raw from New Ghost from the Past 2. These aren't crazy valuable anymore. I mean, the prices came down a lot on Ghost from the Past 2, but very cool. Here's an FL1 Secret Rare. This has a little bit of value for the Blue Eyes. Summon Skull from BPT. Oh, yeah. I love this one. This, the BPT 2002 cards just look insane. Buster Blader. This is 2003. Dark Magician 2003, Blue Eyes 2003. You can tell that this is 2003 by it being 009 versus 003. Also, there's no limited edition. So then there's 008. So yeah, so 7 through 12 are all uh, 2003. Then Genzo, of course. Very cool. And Thousand Eyes Trick. There's the other one that we were missing from Master Collection for the promos. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. All right, next up, Graceful Dice. Very cool card. Vampire Lord reprint. Like, why are some of these top loaded and then those other nice reprints were not? So it's very interesting to me. I guess he just ran out of top loaders or something. Three Vampire Lords. Okay. Kaiser Glider. That's first edition. That's not a reprint. That's a reprint. We got the Guardian. Guardian Girl. Okay. We got the uh, Blast Held by a Tribute. Cost down. Spell Canceler. Uh, unlimited MFC. Okay. The XYZ or the XY Dragon Cannon. Different. Metal Morph. FMR. This actually has some value. Zoa. Metal Zoa. This one looks like it has some corner issues and stuff. Cosmo Queen from the original McDonald's pack. Very, very cool. What else we got here? We've got, okay, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. The original uh, Duels of the Roses, correct? Yeah, Duels of the Roses promos. Valkyrion from World Championships 2004, I think. Dragon Master Knight from Duels Pack Kaiba. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon from JMP. This is very nice. Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys ultra rare if this is the ultimate it'd be pretty insane we got the perfectly ultimate great moth this starts as a young pequeño moth and grows to be the perfectly ultimate great moth big shield garden this is from dark beginning one actually i think the first printing of this and then tp came out exodia the forbidden one from db1 was there a deville first edition ancient sanctuary one of the cheapest raw secret rares from the first 11 sets actually it's not the cheapest but it's close retro pack one gay guardian i don't think i've ever actually held one of these so that's actually sick next up we've got exodia the right arm we've got monster reborn exodia the right arm 
Arm. I wish that was the name. A Monster Reborn reprint versus an original. You can sort of see the difference there. If you don't know how to tell the difference, much lighter there versus this one. We got Gaia the Fierce Knight. Gay Guardian, there's a reprint. We've got another reprint, another reprint. Cool. Summon Skull, this is an original, not a reprint. Very cool. Summon Skull, reprint. So, like, there, there's an example of two side by side. Much, much different coloring on that. Thousand Dragon, okay, very cool. This looks like an original. That also looks like an original. Okay, three originals, I think. Four. I think all those were originals. Beast Skull Dragon Metal Raiders, and there's the reprint. Yeah, there's just such a huge difference. Let's keep going. Oh, Whoa, Trihorn Dragon, is this wavy? Time out. So this is unlimited, but unlimited can still be wavy for LOB. Oh my goodness, rip. Oh my goodness, yeah, that thing's destroyed. So this is an old school, but wow, that is in really bad shape. Okay, bad shape, but uh, very nice looking. I still don't really know. I don't, maybe it's wavy, it's hard to tell. Sometimes when they're more beat up, they're like harder to tell if they're wavy. It's very dark like a wavy card, but not all dark cards are wavy cards for LOB. All right, another try one. It's a reprint, another reprint, another reprint. This is an original. That thing is in really bad shape. We've got, uh, okay, a first edition. That one looks like it has some edge wear. Let's check it out. First edition. All right, first edition try horned. This card is very beat up. Okay, got to be mod play at the best. I mean, maybe even heavy play. Definitely not great shape on it, unfortunately, but pretty nice card, though. All right, here's the uh, gold letter Gaia. Very cool. See that? Exodia reprint. Exodia original. Cool. Unlimited. Right leg of the forbidden one. Right leg. Left arm. That one Is that bent or is that a hair? Okay, just a hair or something. Left leg. Left leg reprint. Right arm reprint. A lot of Exodia limbs. Very cool. Also want to shout out the Twitch stream. We've been streaming every day on weekday. So if you guys are interested, go check out the link down below. Let's get back to the collection. First edition Injection Fairy Lily. Nice. First edition Luster Dragon. Paladin of White Dragon. Okay, these are kind of falling out a little bit. We've got the Blue Eyes White Dragon Unlimited. We've got Blue Eyes White Dragon Unlimited but this is original print, original print Dark Magician, reprint Dark Magician, another original print. So these are three different looking Dark Magicians, but this is the reprint right here. Both of these are not reprints. So this one could be like 2003 print, which you could say it's a reprint it's the next year, but that's what I mean. By reprint, I mean 2010 through 2000 and whatever we're at now, 17, I guess. Here's a darker print. This appears to be 2002. So this one also could be 2002 because sometimes they look like this even from 2002, but there's another reprint. Red Eyes B Dragon reprint, another reprint, and then Trihorn, another reprint. So tons of reprints in here, but still great cards, even reprints. All right, Harpies, Pet Dragon. This is from Retro Pack 2, Secret Rare. This is a big card. Let's look at this. Oh, this condition is pretty good. Okay, top. Okay, lip right there on the top, unfortunately. Back's pretty clean. A little bit of that going on there, but not too bad overall. A little bit of a corner issue as well. So very good condition. Just has a lip at the top and a bad corner. So that can really hold hold a card back overall in condition, but still looks pretty good. Retro pack too. I've never actually had one of these. So pretty cool. Then we've got the Jinzo first edition. Okay. Blue eyes tune first edition. Red eyes. Oh, black metal dragon. This card got overhyped for a while. Like I remember this shot up like $2,000 or something in a 10, but still very cool. Here's the FMR. So here's all the FMR. Wait, that's only two of them. What's the other one? Oh, we had it earlier. The metal morph. Uh, Dark magician girl unlimited mfc dark magician girl M unlimited mfc first edition dark paladin this has also gone down a little bit in price king's knight that's a apparently light play ultimate rare horus level six very cool the legendary fisherman first edition yada grassi first edition and another injection fairy lid first edition so i think we hit uh, the good stuff right now oh and here's a big one raviel and uriah oh my goodness let's check these out these are big ultimate rare first edition these are the guys i've never even been able to pull these in ultra much less ultimate oh my goodness little bit of there you guys see that slight indent right there pretty nice condition back does have the indent which is pretty normal for these let's just try not to even touch these as little as possible i mean these are not a perfect condition by any means but definitely pretty nice overall seems like it's basically i mean light play at worst but I mean, that's a solid light play if it is. So like very light play, I would probably call it. I mean, really, really nice card. Then we got to check this one out. Okay, and look over there. There's, you can't see it because my face is in the way probably in the editing, but uh, there's the other one. All three of them are in this collection. Here we go. Okay, this one does not look as nice. Let's see. Into, well, it does look as nice, but I mean condition-wise. <laughs> like it, it looks as nice, let's be honest. Uh, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames up there. It has a lip, little slight lip. A little bit of whitening on the top. That happens pretty often with these. I don't have a lot of experience, though, with these. I have not really owned... I've owned one of these at one point. Back's definitely more scuffed on this one. than Yeah, it's definitely scuffed there, if you can see that. But it doesn't look like there's any bends for the most part. So this is probably... Let's put it in a penny sleeve. You might be like, why did you put it in a penny sleeve? Penny sleeves are just good for not damaging the card at all. Like, there's no way we're adding damage by putting it in a penny sleeve. Unless the corners are, like, literally falling off. That's the only possible way. So this card, I would say, like, maybe, like, my play or 
weak light play, something like that, somewhere in between there. Now for the final one, the Haman Lord of Striking Thunder. This is a pretty big card as well. Let's see what it is. This is the only one that was double sleep for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see if it's in ma amazing condition. A little bit of whitening right there, but not too bad. I mean, a little bit of edge whitening is not the end of the world. Back surface, okay, it does have scratching on it. Oh, does that have, it does have pendants? I can't tell through the, through the foil. Wait, look at this. You guys can see that. You see those two dots right there? It looks like pendants, so it would be on that side. Let's see if we can find them. Yeah, I think I can see them right there. Very slightly. So they're not too bad, but pendants are pendants, unfortunately. I mean, with the whitening, the scratches, and the pendants, this has got to be mod play, unfortunately. It's still a nice mod play, though, but you can really see those pendants on the back. But still amazing looking card next up another insane one we have elemental hero tempest we got to go through all these like condition wise because this is just crazy this might be a longer video if we do this on a lot of cards but on a nice collection like this we want to inspect the condition of course like i will be doing afterwards as well but i want to show you guys a lot of it uh that's a slight slight nick right there oh my goodness the back is great on this compared to those uh last two sacred beasts this looks incredible is it basically only that top part and a little bit on the back okay two parts Let's see if we can see it right there yeah a little bit going on there but not too much this card's pretty nice okay this is definitely in great condition like if you're gonna get super picky like very lightly played because of those but this is the kind of card where you just show the whole condition when you sell it and stuff like that but incredible condition on this looks good these are the kind of cards that are super hard to sell because like when people buy like near mint they expect mint you know a lot of times so like you have to condition it like that i condition as very lightly played even though honestly i think it's probably near mint like realistically but people that want near mint want it to be mint so then if you sell it as near mint and they, they're like, well, this doesn't look as good. So, and then, okay, let's just get to what we're, what we're looking at here. Cyber and Dragon. Oh my gosh, man. I have not had one of these in a while. I owned one a long time ago before everything got crazy. This card looks so good. Okay. I mean, the back definitely is not perfect. It's got, you can see through it on the stamp a little bit. There's definitely some scuffing on it. This appears to be a European print. I could be wrong. The corner is definitely not very good there. I mean, it's pretty bad actually. But uh, bad corner, some scuffs on the back. Like this is like maybe LP, something like that. But really, 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 really nice card. All right, we're still going with cards that we need to like look at, like appreciate big time. Like even if they're not in perfect mint condition, you know, PSA 10, whatever, you got to look at this. You got to look at this. You got to appreciate it. Cyber Dragon, Ultimate Rare, first edition. We used to have a PSA 10 of this. It, it, it was an RIP thanks to the MFC box. Bad decision, but that's okay. That's just how it goes. Little bit of like dirt on this one. I mean, that happens sometimes. Back's actually pretty clean. Okay, maybe a little bit of scratching in the middle there, but back's pretty clean for the most part. Uh, there's some crap all over this. So yeah, this is the kind where it's like the surface is not super clean, which is always not fun, but uh, still a pretty nice looking card. Whitening, I mean, I'm probably going mod play on this because like the surface everywhere and then like the whitening. Pretty nice Cyber Dragon Ultimate for sure. Oh boy. It's one of our favorites, the Cyber Dark Dragon. Yes, and we still do have our PSA 10 of this one because we pulled this card. All right, Cyber Dark Dragon Ultimate Rare. Let's go. Woo, that's a nice one. Check that out. All right, that is such a beautiful Ultimate Rare. Back has definitely some scuffs on it. I'm pretty significant scuffs. You can see them without even the light. Pretty nice though, besides that. That's like it. There's some scuffing on the back. That's about it. You gotta call that LP, but even this is like a very aesthetically pleasing LP. Like it just has the back. So if it's in a sleeve, it looks incredible. All right, let's get back to these. Anything that we need to look at now? I mean, Water Dragon is a favorite of mine. I do like the look of it. We're not gonna pull it out. We got the, oh, there's the Sacred Phoenix. We gotta look at that. And then, and oh my goodness, Dark Magician Girl First Edition. We will be looking at these. Let's start off with the Sacred Phoenix. I don't even know, like, well, what card should we put in the thumbnail here? Like, I feel like I was going to put the giant box, but I think putting a card in the thumbnail is just more enticing here. Oh no, it's bent. It's so bent. It's damaged. Rip. Okay, well, it looks beautiful on the front, but yeah, it's damaged, unfortunately. They, these are very bent top loaders too. Now the first edition Dark Magician Girl. I actually am pretty sure I sold him this. I sold him a Dark Magician Girl like a year ago, but I don't know if this is the same one or not. Uh, it's kind of funny if it is. It, it made its way back to me. Let's see. I don't remember where I got this from in the first place. Must probably another collection because I don't think I've ever bought a single of this before. Okay, Dark Magician Girl. MFC first edition. Ooh, that card's pretty clean. Okay, it does have some scuffing on the back. Yep, there it is. Oh, I remember this card specifically because it has this scuffing. It's like this weird scuffing. But the, I mean, it's MFC. You know how it is, guys. The uh, the scuffing on MFC is just so bad. I mean, but outside that scuffing, this card is insane. First edition, not near mint because of that scuffing. Probably LP, but still incredible. Great shape. And then like, if you put this in a sleeve, I mean, oh my goodness. You'd be like, is this PSA 10? Well, centering, so you would know, but... <laughs> 
still nice more stuff to go so i think we hit like the biggest stuff just then probably let's see what else there is toon summon skull for uh, and we, we spent an adequate amount of time on it it's good stuff spellbinding circle first edition xyz dragon cannon we got some more reprints here dark magician of chaos the blackluster soldier maybe it has a wrinkle in it or is that something no it's something another reprint so we did sleeve off some of these this might be a 2010 print this one looks kind of like a 2010 print it they, they look a little bit different you see this it doesn't quite look like an original but it looks different than the newer reprints that are super light so it, there's a lot to there's a lot of different prints okay guys all right rest of the way we have gemini elf original because there's no reprint of this um we've got a reprinted genzo we got an original unlimited genzo that's wait is that reverse foil reverse foil okay very cool this one's regular foil that's a reprint yeah reprints cannot be reverse foil by the way first edition legendary Fisherman, first edition Legendary Fisherman, Unlimited Reprint, Buster Blader Reprint, Buster Blader Original, first edition Feed Mega Cyber, Goblin Attack Force, Reprint Ceasefire. Is this faded? A faded Dark Ruler Hades. That's really cool. Uh, Fiber Jar and a Megamorph. All right. Still a few more. Actually, quite a bit more. We got Solemn Judgment. That's original. What is this? But uh, very, very nice card. Freed. Marauding Captain, Tyrant Dragon, Injection Fairy Lily. That one looks like it has a bend to it. I can see it right there. Yamada Dragon. Yada Garasu has gotten very expensive recently off the ban list. Ring of Destruction, the Don Zaluga. One of my favorite cards to play in Go format. Very good. Lava Golem, Magic Cylinder, um, the original. Some of these are, might be reversed. I got to keep an eye out. Mask Restrict, Last Warrior from Another Planet. You don't see Unlimited LON that much. Card of Safe Return, United We Stand, and Dark Necrofear. There's another Unlimited LON. Pretty cool. All right, Dark Paladin First Edition. This is Yugi's world, I guess. Yeah, Slide for the Sky Dragon. Okay, here's some promos. These could be BCCG graded in the mystery boxes. Get your mystery gems now, guys. Oh, wait, that's different. This is Yugi's legendary decks. These are probably more valuable. <laughs> Slifer, Wing Dragon, Ara, Obelisk, more Obelisk, okay, Beast Skull reprint, Time Wizard Original Unlimited, Time Wizard Beat Up Original Unlimited, Magic Jammer, Change of Heart also got expensive recently, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Mirror Force Unlimited, Mirror Force reprint, very cool. All right, Invader of Darkness, we got the Strike Ninja, Strike Ninja, Leviar, the Sea Dragon, the Dark Mirror Force, Invader of Darkness, Dark Magician of Chaos from Yugi's Legendary Decks, mm, okay, we got another Dark Magician Girl, and uh, Dark Magician Girl Legendary Collection, Yugi's World, two of those, and a Dark Paladin First Edition, another one of those, all right, well, those are actually pretty solid value. Then we're finishing up with a couple more stacks, Skull Arch Fiend of Lightning, Exodia Necros First Edition, awesome. First Edition SDK, okay, you can tell from here that it is not great condition, but that's still SDK First Edition is amazing thousand eyes restrict hell palmer mirror wall swift gaia genzo retro back to dark mirror force guardian angel joan insect princess and gemini elf all right i think this is the last of it there's a bunch of like commons and stuff that i'm going to go through off camera like we already appreciated the best stuff and the stuff you guys want to see we got the hell palmer dark magician of chaos first edition we got to check that out mst uh serpent eye dragon first edition of course, relinquish. Okay, there's some good stuff to end this. Toon Summon Skull. Uh, Time Wizard First Edition. We've got uh, Barrel Dragon Faded First Edition. That's amazing. And Vampire Lord First Edition Dark Crisis. Okay, that ended off pretty strong. Okay. So this collection is absolutely amazing. I'm going to have to double check for all the conditions and stuff like that, but we're spending $8,000. So hopefully it will be worth it. <laughs> and if you guys want any of this, just hit me up and let me know you're interested. And I'll let you know if I still have it or if I'm selling it. And if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. We also have another huge collection coming, by the way. Another or eight thousand dollars so see you then oh i totally forgot to show you guys the graded cards there's only a couple so i'm and i took everything down so i'm not setting everything back up there's only two graded cards and then one really cool glass card unlimited gilgar so i'm going to show you guys with a face cam it's not going to be great this card's actually pretty rare it's a secret rare as you guys know glass secret rares are really really tough to pull there's a valkyrian the magnet warrior this is psa 9 from retro pack 2 very very cool and then here's the card the reason like i would have just skipped those i mean they're both pretty cool i've just been like whatever they don't need to see them you guys need to see this card bgs 9 necroface first edition from glass so there's one of the rarest glass cards we've tried to pull this many times we've never pulled it it's also a bgs9 it's also first edition so yeah i needed to show you guys that sorry for forgetting about that i'll insert this right before the outro and i'll see you guys next time shout out to tcg trust card stone for show tomato juice daxter jt Cho, clayton fitzgerald 87 brett palmer puffins doom ernesto deanda stanley mimic gecko ian musa junior barding john nolan and show and tom mclean thank you guys for supporting this channel and i'll see you guys next time peace